Hey guys, it's Heisenberg here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install natural lighting and atmospherics for EMB. Um, I'll show you two different ways to install it. I'll show you how to install it for use of an EMB as a whole, and I will also show you how to use it as a weather plugin for a different EMB, like if you wanted to use this as your weather mod for like a, a different EMB, like Aeon EMB. I will also show you how to do that because I haven't seen a, a different tutorial on YouTube of how to do that. But um, before we get started, I'm just going to let you guys know this now. Um, I'm not going to be able to upload videos as often because uh, I just had a couple people move in my house and it's going to be harder to record videos because I like to be in, I like to have the house to myself when I'm recording videos because um. For some reason, I just get weirded out when other people are listening to what I'm saying, especially when they don't understand, like, Skyrim modding or modding in general. So, um, I'll probably be uploading maybe once or twice a week now. I'm probably going to binge record my videos all at once so I can upload them. But, um, so yeah, in case anyone was wondering, like, what happened or whatever, that's what happened. So, I'm going to quit telling my life story, and, um, let's get to it. So, the first thing you're going to obviously need to do is you're going to want to head over to the Natural Lighting and Atmospherics page, and I'll put a link for you down below in the description, so go ahead and click on it, unless you're already there. And if we scroll down here for a minute, you can, um, you can read this description if you want. It tells you all the different things that this EMB can be, can be used with, and then um, it's going to use the latest binary, so down here under what, you're, what you need, where it says latest EMB files can be found here, you can right click on that and you can click open link in new tab. And we're going to click news. And then we're going to click download. And then we're going to click TES Skyrim. And it says it uses the latest binary, so we're going to click the version 266. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And then we're going to click the download arrow. And um, we're going to need something that manages archives in order to install this correctly. There's um, WinRAR, which is what I'm using. There's 7-Zip, and there's also WinZip. Um, I believe they're all free, but WinRAR is just what I prefer. And they all work relatively the same thing. So pick your poison. Um, whenever you get a pop-up like this, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Backspace. And then you're going to drag and drop the archive onto your desktop, and we're just going to leave that there. We'll come back to that in just a second. And then we can go ahead and close out of EMB Dev because we're done with it. And then the next thing we're going to install is something called EMB Helper. And the Helper plugin can be found here, so go ahead and right-click it and click Open Link in New Tab. And it's going to take you to some random uh, website. And under Download, go ahead and click Download. And it should automatically start downloading. And... Um, you should get a pop-up like this, just like you did with the binary file. And just like we did with the binary file, we're going to hit Backspace. And then we are going to drag and drop it onto our desktop. And we're going to leave that here, because we'll get back to that in just a second. And we can go ahead and close out of the, the website. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the top of the page. And we're going to click the Files tab. And under Main Files, we're going to manually download the NLA Beta 1-4 file. And then go ahead and click on it so you get a window like this. And again, just like you did, just like we did with the other two archives, go ahead and hit backspace, and then drag and drop it onto your desktop. And um, I say this in every single one of my videos, but I'll keep saying it because I'm sure not everybody has watched every single one of my videos. The step that I'm about to do with these three archives is completely optional. You don't have to do it this way, but um. It does make things a lot easier for you. So if you're deciding to do this step, you're going to click on um, the binary archive, and you're going to right-click it, and you're, and you're going to click Extract to EMB Series Skyrim 266, and it's going to make it into a folder. And then we're going to do the same thing for the EMB Helper archive. We're going to right-click Extract to EMB Helper, and then the same thing for the NLA archive. Right click, extract to NLA beta 1-4. And then if you decided to do that step, you can go ahead and delete all three of the archives. If you didn't, you're obviously going to keep the archives there. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to locate our Skyrim folder. And um, an easy way to find your Skyrim folder is if you have an icon on your desktop, you can right click it and you can click open file location and it'll bring you right to it. And um, if you have Nexus Mod Manager, another easy way to find it is if you click this orange folder right here and you click the drop down menu, you click open game folder and it'll take you right to it as well. Basically, where Skyrim Launcher and TESV are located, you're in the right place. Just please make sure you're not in your data folder where, where all your BSAs, ESPs, and ESMs are. Please make sure you're not in there. So let me go back to the page real quick. And um, under optional files, if you were really that OCD about having high-res bark textures, you could download this with Manager and then activate it. But um, I'm not really going to mess with that. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, I had a slight interruption, but um, I just um, I just showed you where your Skyrim folder was. So now we're going to um, get to installing the EMB itself. The first thing I'm going to show you, um, if you're just here because you want to, like, if you wanted to add this as an actual weather to a different EMB, um, stay tuned for a little bit longer. I'm going to do the actual EMB installation first. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the NLA folder and then we're going to click this folder here and then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything in here except for the data folder. So make sure the data folder isn't highlighted and then we're going to right click and we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it into our Skyrim folder and then once we do that uh, this data folder here, whether you're installing this for EMB weathers or if you want this as your actual EMB you're gonna do this step with the data folder either way you're gonna right click on the data folder and you're gonna click add to archive and you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it natural lighting and atmospherics EMB data and then hit enter and it's gonna make an archive and I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my desktop and then I'm gonna go to my mod manager and then I'm going to click add mod from file and then I'm going to click on the archive that I just created and I'm going to click open and it's basically just going to add it into your mod manager and if you wanted to use this um, as weathers for an EMB all you would do is activate this and you're good to go so for the people that just wanted to use this as their weathers you would just do what I did with the the data file right click it add to archive and then add it in your mod manager and activate it and then you're good to go you could go in game and then you could install a different EMB but um if you wanted this as your EMB you're not done yet so if you're doing this for an EMB go ahead and activate it and what we're gonna do now is we're going to install the EMB helper so go ahead and open that up and for EMB helper go back to the Skyrim folder and click the EMB series folder and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this emb-helper.dll file and we're going to right click it and we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it into the emb series folder and uh, if you read the the NLA page it tells you that the reason for this was for multiple weathers or something like that I believe so that's that's really awesome so once you put the emb-helper.dll file in the inside of the emb series folder make sure you're putting it in that folder go ahead and open up the EMB series binary fo folder and go ahead and click the wrapper version injector version installations I don't know too much about but 99 percent of people will be using the wrapper version installation so go ahead and open up the wrapper version and we're only going to be copying two files out of here which is the d3d9.dll file and the EMB host.exe file so go ahead and right click copy go back to your Skyrim folder and then paste them and once you do all three of those steps we can go ahead and delete these three files and the EMB is pretty much installed now we just have to tweak a couple of any settings so in order to get to our any files from our Skyrim folder we can go ahead and click my documents my games and Skyrim and once you see Skyrim.any and Skyrimprefs.any you are in the correct place but if you do not see the .any at the end 
don't worry about that. It just means your operating system hides file extensions. It's the same exact thing as if it said .any at the end, so don't worry about that. So we're going to open up our Skyrim.prefs because that's the files that we need to tweak, and we're going to go back to the page. And as you can see, this right here, the first thing we need to end, uh, edit is bfloat.render.target, and we have to make sure that equals 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to go control C and what that does is that copies it and then go back to your notepad, control F to find it and then control V to paste it and then click find next and it'll automatically find it for you instead of having to sc scroll through all this shit to find it. But um, please make sure that this value equals 1 otherwise your EMB won't work at all. It'll just, your half of your screen will be black so this is a really important setting. So we're going to go back to the page and then we're going to copy the next one. So control C, control F, and control V. Mine's already at one. So the next one, control C, control F, and control V. And the last one, control C, control F, and control V. All right, mine already equals one. So if you had to edit any of these settings, you're going to go up to file and save and then you can go ahead and close out of it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit our EMB local files, which is in our Skyrim folder. So, we're going to go ahead and locate that again. Basically, where we dragged and dropped all the EMB files, you're going to see a file called EMB local, and it may or may not have .any at the end of it, but whether it does or not, you're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're only going to be editing two settings in here under the memory section. It's called um, reserved memory size MB and video memory size MB. Now for reserved memory size MB, I always do 512. And if you have under 3 gigabytes of VRAM, you can either do 256 or 128, I believe is the other value. But um, you can go ahead and Google it. Don't take my word on that. And then video memory size MB is how much VRAM your system has. And I have 3 gigabytes, so I'm going to do 3072. And um, please, please, please make sure you are configuring these correctly to your system because if you're not, you will run into a lot of problems. So if you don't know how much VRAM your system has, please look up your specs on your computer and please just make sure it's correct. So, once you edited those two settings, file and save. And then, um, the last thing that we have to do... Alright, um, we're going to go ahead and bring up the Skyrim launcher now, which is in our Skyrim folder. You go ahead and double click that. And you should get a window that looks like this. And then we're going to click the options window. And where it says anti-aliasing, make sure that's set to off. And the AF make sure that's set to off as well and once you have those both set to off go ahead and click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and run loot real quick because I had to edit my load order so if you had to mess with your load order go ahead and run loot before you go in game and once I do this we can pretty much go in game now so yeah oh gotta clean that out Alright guys, so I'll see you in game. Alright guys, so um, immediately when you load up your game, if you get this message in your top left hand corner, that's a really good sign. That means that you installed your binary files correctly. And um, if you press shift and enter at the same time, it'll bring up this menu right here. And this basically allows you to tweak the EMB further, like if you wanted to mess with a couple of things, you would do that through here. And then you can press shift enter to get out of it. And then if you press the star key on your number pad, it'll bring up your frames per second in the top left hand corner if you didn't have an FPS counter. So that's also a really cool feature. So um, I'm going to go ahead and load up the game.
Alright guys, so the game is loaded up, and um, this is one of my all-time favorite EMBs. It's um, it's pretty realistic, and um, another trick you can do, like if you have crashing problems when you go in and out of doors, you can hold down Shift and press F12, and it'll put it back to Vanilla Skyrim. And then uh, if you press Shift F12 again, it'll put it back to the EMB. So I'm going to go ahead and go outside, just so you guys can see what it looks like outside real quick. Let me turn off my torch, or my lantern. Alright guys, and this is natural lighting and atmospherics for EMB, and then again I'll do another uh, comparison shot with doing Shift F12. This is Vanilla Skyrim, and then uh, this is NLA. So yeah guys, um, I really do love this EMB a lot, and um, if you're looking for something realistic with not too hard of a performance hit, this would definitely be up your alley. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm not going to blabber on too much about it. Um, if you guys have another EMB that you would like me to show you how to install, just leave a comment or send me a message, and I will more than definitely do the video for you. I'm here to help you guys out. Um, I really enjoy doing stuff like this. So um, if you have any problems with getting this EMB installed, please let me know, and I will assist you in the best way that I can. So again, guys, this is Natural Lighting and Atmospherics for EMB, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.